today we're going to fire it up the 4M40 which we just removed on the crashed Mitsubishi the Lika video will be down in the description under the video how I did it yeah time to make it run see how it runs puff the smoke we'll do fuel electrical solenoids battery we'll put the oil all in details and let's start with the engine oil engine oil is a lifeblood of the engine okay let's tight our oil pan drain plug make sure it's not loose before we'll get started guys if you first time to the channel please subscribe very appreciate that all right let's wipe the oil filter housing as you could see engine came without a oil filter okay fresh oil 15w40 let's just measure right amount i put all information how much oil what kind of oil down in the description check it out i have a delica diesel club playlist as well I'm going to pre-fill the filter because filter mounts uh, vertically, we can do it and reduce the engine oil starvation. If you guys have any questions, comments, critics, suggestions, put everything down below under the video. Let's put a little bit of oil on rubber o-ring. Make sure next time when we will be removing the filter won't stick to the housing. And By the way, I have the video engine oil filters cross reference what other filters you can use on 4m40 mitsubishi delica i will put link up above okay let's pull the dipstick out and we're ready to refill the engine with a fresh engine oil let's take our oil filler cap everything is nice and clean and our funnel is ready and engine is waiting for fresh oil okay let's put a rag if we'll spill a little bit won't spill on the engine okay let's put the fresh engine oil engine oil is cheap but engines they're expensive simple maintenance is critical for longevity of your favorite small diesel engine okay we're right at the top mark we started with the engine oil because engine oil is most important part of your engine maintenance okay this is done engine oil is cheap but engines they're expensive okay oil is done and now we're going to to set up diesel fuel supply to our 4m40 here is a primer pump filter water separators there's two lines to the filter and from the filter to the injection pump let's connect the fuel hose to the fuel injection supply line and another end will get connected to the fuel filter water separator outlet port we have another side to connect to the filter all right as you can see both supply line to the filter primer pump from the filter to the injection pump they're both connected that's the easiest part Okay, let's also connect our return line from the fuel injectors back into the tank. Yeah, that's connected. I'm mounting my fuel water separator primer pump to the engine <laughs> bracket. Make sure it's mounted somewhere. Okay, let's put the fuel lines into the jerry can. Fresh diesel fresh start new life for this engine okay 
I'm going to connect a main battery cable to the starter positive terminal. By the way, I have a video how to fix the loose starter studs and this starter used on some case tractors, Toro lawnmowers and some other machines. So I will put a video down in the description how I did it. Okay, let's connect a new battery clamps. Electricity is a science about the good connections oh it's too small let's drill it uh, bigger and make it fit <laughs> guys if you have any comments questions or something is not really clear I'm trying my best to make it possible to replicate if you need to start a diesel engine it doesn't need to be 4m40 yeah I think this video might be helpful okay Make sure everything's tight. Okay, positive cable is ready. Let's do the same thing using a negative battery clamp. We have a cable to the body of the engine. And uh, let's go and connect the cable. Let's make sure it's all tight, nice, new, clean. Let's connect the ground cable to the engine itself okay we're all done on that part this positive cable is from volvo xc70 has uh, another cable crimped to the main cable end okay let's go and put a strap to secure our engine make sure it won't run away and everything's safe yes yeah, safety first and this video is only my demonstration how I did it. Okay, let's uh, supply the power to the fuel supply solenoid. Fuel shut off solenoid to get those coils energized and plunge remove and get a fuel to the injection pump. Upper one is fuel supply solenoid. Blue wire connects to that one. And on the bottom is fuel shut off solenoid. Black wire with a white tracer. Let's chase that wire to the connector. As you can see, they're both side by side. Come into one part and then blue one turns into the yellow with the white tracer. Let's connect the power to those two. All right, wiring harness. And then other end, let's find the wires. We have to energize those solenoids to get a fuel to the injection pump. Okay, we'll crimp them together on one side and connect the alligator clip wire on another side which we'll be using to connect to the positive battery cable something like that pretty easy pretty clear and now we have all that set up let's get our battery ready pulled from my another Delica let's connect our positive battery cable you connect positive first and then negative in that sequence this time it doesn't matter because we're <laughs> outside of the vehicle but better to do it right okay I'm going to touch that control pin with the positive battery cable and crank the engine over let's try it okay Oh, remnants of the power steering fluid came off the pump. Well, that could be expected. All right, let's put a paper towel and cover it with a rag. A little bit there. We'll crank it. Not a big deal. Okay, here's my diesel fuel transferred into the smaller container. Actually, it's a empty milk jug okay let's put two lines return and fuel supply line and we can see where they are make sure they won't suck the air okay let's crack that bleeder bolt we have to purge all air from the filter and get it up to the injection pump okay let's start pumping and uh, yeah wait a second and we'll start seeing the uh, fuel coming out with the uh, bubbles yeah do it right nothing can be longer 
then doing the same <laughs> job twice. Here we go. We're started seeing fuel. Good. Bubbles are coming, and I'm going to keep pumping until all air is out and only solid fuel. No bubbles. It's hissing, it's bubbling, it means air is coming out slowly. Yeah, just keep pumping. I have a spill pad underneath, make sure I won't spill a diesel on the ground. Yep. Here we go, more air is coming out slowly, let's keep pumping, no rush, less air will allow our engine start faster, okay, that's it, air is out on this side, let's tighten our bleeder bolt, aka bleeder screw, here we go, all that done, now we're going to the fun part. Next, I'm going to check the operation on my solenoids. When power supplied to the solenoids, coil energized and opens the plunger and the fuel can be delivered. Okay, that's good. Let's crack our injectors. I will start just with the one. This is number four for now. And get some fuel start puffing out. Okay, my solenoids are energized. Let's crank it by touching that wire. Oh, here we go. It tried to fire it up. Good. We noticed some fuel came out, but still running a bit rough because we have an error. Okay, let's crack the rest of the injectors. Engine won't fire it up because we won't have a pressure at the injector nozzles, but we'll push the rest of the air out. See, they're starting spraying. That's good. The air is pushing out. Great. It was a good cranking. Very consistent. Good engine. All right. Let's tighten our injectors now. And the engine should fire it up. That's the way you do it. All right. All tight. I'm going to fix some turbo actuators, boost leaks, uh, vacuum leaks, hoses as well, make sure everything's intact, no leaks on that part. Okay, all done. Let's give it glow plugs for a few seconds. The glow plug cable I'm touching to the positive battery terminal. Let's warm up a bit the engine. Okay, good enough. Let's try cranking. Engine fired up and running. Sweet. Oops, we have a fuel leak. Oh, let's get it fixed. Oh yeah, I didn't put a hose clamp <laughs> on the fuel supply line. My fault, I'm going to fix it. Engine has oil and it's okay to run for very short period of time because we don't have a coolant. And uh, yeah, fuel solenoids are on and let's supply the power to the starter control pin and uh, crank it up, fire it up and run it for a short period of time and see how it runs. Engine fired up, 4 and 40 is running. I love that straight pipe diesel turbo sound if I can listen it all the time. Yeah. We can run it for a very short period of time, we have a lubrication, oil is in the engine, but we don't want to overheat it and cause any mechanical damage to the engine. The engine is sounding really nice. Yeah, I have a video how I remove this engine. This is junkyard engine from the fresh Delta Crush. Ooh, this sound is awesome. I will make another video without me talking. Yeah, let's shut it off. Good enough. All done. 
thank you so much guys for watching this video very appreciated your time i have a delica diesel club playlist see you there and more videos are coming up subscribe yeah see you soon take care bye bye